Watching 16% of bridges in Vigo County either need to be replaced or repaired. This work could cost an estimated $17 million. Officials say with four bridges already closed and a lack of funding, it could take time before the necessary work gets done. Terry Craig talked with county officials and is here to tell us how they plan to tackle this issue. Terry. Officials who I spoke with say that they're looking at cost-effective ways to keep bridges safe for drivers. Bridge out, road closed. Two visible signs on four Vigo County bridges. With budgets the way they are, um, you know, and funding going the way it is and construction costs rising, I mean, we're kind of fighting that uphill battle. Of the 200 bridges in the county, 32 of them need at least some kind of rehabilitation. Bridges are judged on a sufficiency scale from 1 to 10. It can mean bad news for taxpayers for a bridge to get a 1 grade. If it falls in that one category, that means there's something critically wrong with that bridge and we have to close it. Um, and if there aren't sufficient funds to, you know, to take care of it at that point, then we have to remain closed for a significant amount of time. An estimated $17 million is needed to either rehab or replace the 32 bridges that get the 2, 3, or 4 grade. With an increase in construction costs and a tight budget, the numbers aren't adding up. We only get about eight hundred to $900,000 a year in revenue to maintain 200 bridges. Um, so as you can see, that's a pretty good dent in that budget. Commissioner Chris Schweitzer suggests using some federal ARPA funds to help with the issue, but that needs county council approval. I think a great way to alleviate some of the immediate stress, stress would be to use ARPA funds. Um, so far, we don't know if we're going to get approved for that or not, but we're looking forward to hopefully having that conversation, some dialogue with the council on to see what the next steps are. Nationwide inflation is causing the price to rehab a bridge to go up, making it even more difficult to get projects done. Having to put up signs like these is something officials want to avoid. All these costs, I mean, even sometimes, even if you can get, have the money to fix it, it's hard to get a contractor to come into town to do it just because they're, they're covered up with work. Schweitzer says that fixing bridges will continue to be a priority for himself and the engineering department. It uh, certainly became a focus point for the county commissioners and the engineering department, especially in the last three months or so, as we've had two or three bridges basically collapse, uh, not, not able to be used. Robbins also says that he's looking into community crossing grants and other state awards for funding.